Beware of those who use God's name to promote themselves. We have seen this over and over again. I could go through a long list of people behind the pulpit who uses God's name to promote themselves. While they live in luxury, ripping off their followers for the nickels and dimes out of a poor widow's purse so they can have a second or third mansion. They use God's name, use God's name in vain to enrich themselves. I see this with a lot of politicians today. They invoke God's name and yet behind the scenes, behind the scenes, they are wicked people who promote evil. I think it interesting, you know, this whole thing that's going on with Herschel Walker right now. He's invoking God's name. I am anti-abortion. There should be no abortions for any reason. I'm the only pro-life candidate out here. And yet, all these children out of wedlock. And yet, he's paid for a woman to have an abortion. She's got the receipts. She can prove it. And how do Christians respond to that? The Christians who are following the political right? Well, that's okay. That's okay. Why is it okay with them? Because he hates the same people they hate. And he will be the strong man who will destroy the enemies they perceive. That's the worldly method. That's Abimelech all over again. And we've seen where Abimelech's path leads. And it will lead to the same place today as it did thousands of years ago. Beware of those who use God's name to promote themselves. Beware. Do they promise to hurt and destroy people? If they're promising to hurt and destroy people, especially the ones you don't like, it's of the flesh. It's of this world. It's not of God. 